Hey guys, it's Andos here and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a good day or night wherever you are in the world. In today's episode, we are going to be covering the best long range gun in Warzone right now. In my opinion, I think it's the Bren 100%. This gun is an absolute laser and it doesn't really have any damage drop off and you want to be using this gun in Caldera as most of the gunfights are at long range. So the Bren has a very fast TTK. So my goal is to help you make the gun as accurate as possible while keeping that high damage. Saying that, I will test the best attachments to show you why I choose some attachments over others. I think the results will really surprise you. So by the end of the video, you should have one of the best long range guns in the game. If you want that competitive edge, let's begin. Okay, first things first, let's look at the muzzle. I would highly recommend the Mercury Silencer. This will help you keep you off the map, which is super useful. Another benefit of the Mercury Silencer, it actually helps with recoil control. It does say damage range is affected. However, you will have other attachments to counter this. Staying off the map and having good recoil control is what we want when it comes to the muzzle. So normally the last attachment you would think is pretty good for the gun. In this case, it's the G28 compensator, which states it helps with the recoil control. So I tested this out against the Mercury silencer. Let's have a look. As you can see, the Mercury Silencer has better recoil and also keeps you off the map. So for the muzzle, I would definitely go with the silencer. For the barrel, this is an easy one. There is no need to test this attachment. I would go with the Queen 705mm Royale. A lot of pros with this barrel, which makes the brand such a great gun. Damage does not diminish over long range and extra bullet velocity to keep the TTK as low as possible. So for the under barrel, a lot of people are going with the carver grip, but I would recommend using the hand stop grip instead. Unfortunately, it's the last attachment. However, it does have better recoil than the carver grip from what I've seen from my tests. If you don't have the hand stop unlocked yet, just use the carver for now. However, when you hit level 70 on the gun, definitely swap over to the hand stop grip. I'll just show my test results to show you why the hand grip is better. As you can see, the cover grip has a bit more horizontal recoil, which is harder to control. The hand stop grip is just a straight vertical line, which is more manageable. So a lot of people are going with the 40 mag round due to the better accuracy. The 50 round mag does have more damage though. So I just want to test the recoil pattern to see what the fuss is about. Alrighty, let's test the different magazines and see how we go. So it's a bit hard to see, but it looks like the 40 mag round only has vertical recoil. It's quite consistent. In regards to the 50 round mag, it felt like it had no vertical recoil whatsoever. However, I can definitely feel the side to side movement when shooting. I would go with the 40 mag as I can manage vertical recoil. I think it's better to be accurate and give up some damage. For the ammunition, just go with lengthen. This will increase your bullet velocity, which will improve your TTK. This is a very good option. For the rear grip, you want to choose the polymark grip. A few of my sources are saying that this is the best rear grip, and I think this is the case when it comes to having lower recoil. I tested it against the hatchet grip, which is supposed to reduce horizontal recoil. Let's have a look at the results. The two recoil patterns on the left is for the polymark grip. And as you can see, it actually has less horizontal recoil and vertical recoil, and also has flinch resistance as well. So I say it's a better rear grip for sure. For the stock, this one, I really couldn't tell which one was the best one. There were three really good options. Queen's model, Hockerton, and Oak and Shield padded. They all offer great recoil control and flinch resistance. So let's see which one is the best one after some testing. Looks like the Hawkinson stock is the best one. Bear in mind the Hawkinson sustains accuracy and recoil during gunfights as well, so that's a plus. So for the stock, I would highly recommend the Hawkinson. This will help you with your recoil to hit your shots. 
For the perk slot, I highly recommend Tight Grip. This actually helps dramatically with reducing the recoil. I actually did some testing on this as well, and I have to say, I'm always going to be running Tight Grip if it's available. For the second perk, I run Fully Loaded. This is personal preference. You just have more ammo in your gun. For the scope, I recommend the three to six times scope. It's a really, really good scope. Or you can go up to 2.5 times. This is personal preference again. I did do some quick testing between the two scopes and the recoil patterns were pretty similar. Well, that is it for today's episode i do apologize if i miss anything it is christmas eve right now so i just want to get this video out as quick as possible if you guys found this video helpful remember to smash that like button i will be making more videos in the future testing out other weapons so make sure to sub to the youtube channel so you don't miss out if you're thinking about sharing this with a friend i highly recommend it a good squad just means a good time i do stream my twitch at anos gaming tv come drop by and say hello you're more than welcome to anyways i wish you guys all the best and good luck on the war zone